Hello everyone and welcome to the second Dance Scottish at Home for Kids with Newcastle RSCDS. My name's Rebecca and I'm going to be one of your teachers. Now I hope that you enjoyed our first video and I know that lots of you are back at school and things are a little bit more normal but you still might not be able to attend your normal dance class. So we hope that these videos will help you to keep dancing. Now if you are new to dancing you might want to do our first class before you do this one just to learn the steps but if you've been to one of our classes so it's hello again from me Deb and Roger playing fiddle and this time we're going to have a look at skip change the traveling step that's used for lots of figures in Scottish country dancing and lots of uh, lots of the dances so starting with our foot positions we need to start in first position with your feet together, heels together at the back, feet turned out at 90 degrees, so you're making that right angle. If you move one foot forward, we need third position in skip change. So now your feet are making a T. You've got the heel of one foot tucked in next to the middle of the other foot, but they're both still turned out at right angles. Bring the other one in front and we've got third position with the other foot. Have a look, have you got a T? So we're going to do a silly walk. We're going to go from third, 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 third. Keeping your feet turned out and trying to make that T position each time. Are you ready? For just some music, ready? Go. Third, third. Roger 
If he's able, he's going to see if he can play, but we won't, he won't hold hands. He's going to play as we do it. I'm going to dance four steps to get back to where I am, exactly the same place to start. Are we ready to go? Ready, go. One, two, three, four. That was just four, so that's our right hand turn with those four steps. But I made sure I closed my feet each time in third position. Do we have one more go at that? If you've got somebody to hold hands with, hold hands, and you're going to do two steps halfway and two steps back home. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. And brilliant. So that's practice in skip change, closing feet in third, and we had a little go at using four steps to go all the way around for a right hand turn. So say thank you very much to Roger and enjoy the rest of your day. Hello, I'm Jeanette and we're going to talk through today slip step. Slip step is the step we use when we're going sideways in Scottish dancing. So that might be if we're doing a circle, round and back, or it might be in a dance like the Flying Scotsman where we go down the middle and back and then we go down the sides and back and that's slip step. There's two foot positions we need to think about so that's first position which I'm sure we've done before that's when your feet are at 90 degrees to each other and it's how you should stand when you're in the line and second position that's when our feet are still at 90 degrees but there's a gap between our legs so that's second position, and that's the two positions we use when we're doing slip step. So as I said, it's for going sideways, so you might want to make sure you've got a little bit of room out to your side, whichever way you're going to go. We'll go to the right first, so if you move to your left, and then we're going to do step, close, step, close. That's going to the right. And try going back to the left. We're going to do left, close, left, close. Very good. We'll do it once more to the right. Right, close, right, close. And once more to the left. Left, close, left, close. So I think what we'll do is we'll have some music and you can just try doing that in whatever direction works in your room. I'm going to do a little circle, so I'm going to draw a circle around like this and we'll just do that step, so you don't have to worry about how many of them, we're just going to do a little bit of that step. So I shall have my back to you to start it um, and we'll have a little bit of music. You went right that time you're going to do it the opposite way this time so you're going to go left I went right so this time I'm going to go left but whichever way you didn't go we're going to do exactly the same thing so I'll start with my back to you again and I'm going to go left this time just go in the opposite direction than you went last time okay and go. don't just keep going because otherwise we'd end up down the bottom of the step set or we'd get very dizzy so we have to do eight steps each time and we're not actually going to count to eight we're going to start by doing it the way you do it when you've been doing dancing for a while and then it'll get in your brain it might be something you've already heard so instead of counting one two three four five six seven eight so that we remember we're going to stop and our weight's balanced, we're actually only going to count to six and then we're going to say step close. So I shall show you coming towards you. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go back again. I didn't, I didn't have enough room, did I? So we're going to do it. I'll do it diagonally and you might be able to see me. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six step close 
And we'll go back, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, step, close. And if you say that, when you come to go in the opposite direction, because we very often go left for eight and then back right for eight, it means when you need to change direction, you're standing like this and you're balanced. So that you can go whichever way you want to. So if you practice being balanced on your toes in first position, and if you've got your weight on both, you can go whichever way you want. So we're going to do that again. And again, I'm going to go in a circle and we'll go to the right first and then the left. And I'm going to say the words five, six, step, close. And then we'll come back doing it on the opposite foot. So you're going to go in one direction in your circle and then back in the other direction. So if you follow me and I'll have my back to you to start, we're going to do a circle round and back. If you want to, when we're in a circle, we generally hold the person next to us so you can pretend you're in your circle with your arms out. So we'll have our arms out ready and we'll have some music. Step, close. You stand still for a minute and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go left first and then back, and I'm going to say all the numbers this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, step, close. Three, four, five, six, step, close. Very good. Now you'll notice we did left first. And I think I might have told you we're doing right first, but we do left first. And that's because in a circle, we nearly always go left first. Um, if it works for you, that means you're going in a clockwise direction and then you're coming back anti-clockwise. That doesn't help me at all. I have to know I'm going left and then right. I'm going to do that again because I realised that it was perhaps hard to hear the numbers. So we're going to go round and back again, um, just like in a circle. So we'll go left first and then right and try and think really hard about the six step close and so you're nice and balanced. And it's even more important when you aren't in a real circle with people, because otherwise you might fall over. <laughs> when you're in a real circle, the people next to you hold you up a little bit. So we're going to turn around and exactly the same again. You can face me so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and we're gonna go round to the left and then round to the right. Okay. So left. One, two, three, four, five, six, step, close. Right, two, three, four, five, six, step, close. Left. Very good. Very good. So I think that hopefully has got you in the, the mindset of circles. And the only difference if you're doing it down the middle is that you're just going in a straight line. But it's exactly the same. And again, it's nearly always eight steps down and eight steps back. So this county is exactly the same and it's still good to say six step close so that you can come back all nice and balanced. We'll be doing some dances later on and if you've ever done the Flying Scotsman, there's lots of that step in it. Um, and if we do any circles in the dances, you've got used to doing a circle on your own, um, which is a bit weird, I know, but when you go back to class, it'll be lovely that you can get your circles perfect. Okay then, see you later. So we're going to do a dance called Mr. Michael Bear's Reel for a bit of fun. And Mr. Michael Bear's Reel has got a trickier figure in the second eight bars. So before we do the dance, we're going to practice just that tricky bit. So to help you see what you're doing, because it's Mr. Michael Bear's Reel, I've got bears. So I'm number one, now I'm on the boy's side. And then I've got number two on the boy's side. And I've got number three on the boy's side. Now remember, we'd be in pairs. So opposite, there'd be someone looking at me. There'd be someone looking at number two. And there'd be someone looking at number three. So this figure is just for the ones. So what we're going to do is cast away from each other. So I'm going to turn my back on them. And I'm going to walk down the side of the dance. So I'm going to go behind one, two people. Then we're going to meet each other, because remember, they're doing the same. We can join hands and we're going to come up one, two people. 
Then we're going to drop hands, and this time we're going to go behind one person. And that one person will need to step out the way to make room for us. So let's try that again. I'll put you back. So I'm going to cast, and I'm going to go down one, two. I'm going to come in. I'm going to come up. Pass two. Drop hands. Round behind. And this time I'm only passing one. And they're going to move up and that way to let me in. If I go over the other side, this time I'm first girl. I'll put you back in second position because that will help us see. So I'm first girl this time. So I'm going to cast, pulling away. I'm going to go down one, two. I'm going to come and meet my partner. And we're going to go all the way to the top. And then I'm going to cast behind one. If I come back to the top, I'll show you again. Make sure you walk this with me. So I'm one, and then I've got two and three below me, so I'm casting. And I'm going to go behind one, two. I'm going to meet my partner, join hands. And I'm going to come all the way up, one, two. Drop hands, and this time cast one with them stepping out of the way. So let's put that in the dance. I move my audience, so I don't want to trip over them, do I? So we're going to start, I'm at the top, first boy, and I'm going to start with a right hand star. So everyone, all four people at the top, put your hands in, should have four people in this star, and we go round. Then we change and we do a left hand star, all the way back to where we started. Then we're going to do the casty bit that I've just shown you. So pull back, and we're going to go behind one, two, in, join hands up, one, Two, drop hands behind one. Step up for me, thank you. I'm then going to do another right hand star. So I'm going to stick out my right hand, but we've got slightly different people to meet with. So we're going to do our right hand star all the way around. And our left hand star all the way around. Now we're going to end this with a circle. Now because in Scottish country dancing, we like to have four couples, so we actually like to have one, two, three, four couples. Because we've finished that and we've still got two couples below us and the poor people at the bottom haven't done anything at all, we're going to do the dance as first couple again. So this time the top people are going to stand still and I'm still going to be dancing pair. So I'm going to have a right hand star. And a left hand star. Then I'm going to do my casty bit. So remember, you pull back and you're going to be, go behind one, two. You're going to come in. And then you're going to come up one, two, and drop hands. Then you're going to go behind one. They're going to move out the way. And that's us in position to do another right hand star. Round we go. And left hands back. Round we go. And we're going to finish with a circle. So I'm going to go all the way back up to the top of my set. So I'm first girl, sorry, first boy. And we're going to do this twice. So if there is lots of people dancing with you, you might want to play the music again. You might want to rewind a little bit. So before I press play, can you remember what's in the dance? What came first? Who can tell me? Yes. So we've got right hand star and then the left hand star. Then we've got a casty loopy bit. Then we've got another star, right hand star, left hand star. And we finish with a circle round and back. So this is Mr. Michael Bear's reel and we're going to dance it twice. Right hand star. Left hand back. Up, this time just one, and right hand star. Left hand back, and circle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember you're starting in with the right hand star below. And back. 
last a bit. One, two, in and up. That's one, nice step up, right hand star. Left hand back. And circle. And back. Well done. So remember, if you've got lots of people dancing with you, you might want to dance that whole dance again so that they get another chance at being number ones. So that dance was Mr. Michael Bear's Reel.